It was a cold and rainy day as the Zips took on the Buffalo Bulls, looking to bounce back and make their MAC record 3-1 on the year. The game was a good one, but at times it was very sloppy due to the rain and the poor conditions. The action really picked up in the fourth quarter after it was 14-13 Akron for most of the game, which is where we will pick up in the action. Buffalo took this drive down inside the red zone by feeding the ball to running back Emmanuel Reed, who would then finish off the 11-play drive with his touchdown going untouched, making the score 20-13 bowls in the fourth quarter. Next drive, and Woodson couldn't find the open receiver, so he would scramble up the field and would get the first down, making some nice moves along the way. Next play, he would find receiver number 11, A.J. Coney, his favorite target for this big gain through the middle of the defense. Later in the drive now, as Woodson would look deep for the touchdown to Coney again, as the Bulls defender makes a beautiful play to stop the ball from getting there. However, things would go bad for the Zips right here as Woodson would be intercepted on this pass, leaving Buffalo to start on their own one yard line. Woodson would finish the day 21 of 29 for 386 yards and three touchdowns. However, the Zips couldn't keep the Bulls back as they would pick up the first down. Next third down, however, they would be stopped short of the first and would be forced to punt. Next Zips drive would feature running back Deltron Sands, who had a career high 70 yards on the day. The Zips would score and take the lead late, making it 21 to 20 with under five minutes to play. The Bulls on the next drive would complete pass after high percentage pass and march their way down the field, looking to, at the very minimum, get into field goal range. They would complete this pass over the middle and then this run on second down was stopped by the Zips, setting them up for a third down where the Zips pressure would get to the quarterback and the hit would make the errant throw fall incomplete. The kicking squad would come on for a 46 yard field goal. Good snap, good hold. However, the kick would end up being a shank going straight left and not even being close as the whole Zips team erupts in elation. As we take a look again here, you can see that this ball really never had a chance missing way left. The Zips would get the ball back and run out the clock as they would go on to win 21-20, improving their MAC record to 4-1 on the season.